Hey, my name is Clay McLeod Chapman, and I am the author of Whisper Down the Lane, which is a lovely summer novel about the satanic panic period of the early 80s and how maybe the past isn't necessarily done with us and echoes out into our present day. So if you're looking for something spooky to read, I would wholeheartedly recommend it. But then in terms of some other spooky great summer reads for uh, 2021, I figured that I would list uh, the top five books that I'm really, really excited for. First of which is called The Last House on Needless Street by Katarona Ward. I hope I'm saying that name right. Everybody's talking about it and I really wanna read it. I'm really kind of grumpy that I haven't gotten a copy yet. There's also a book called Summer Sons by Lee Mandelo, and I'm really excited about that one after hearing a lot about it through the company Nightworms. They had a lot of good things to say about it. Also, another recommendation from Nightworms was a book called Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke by Eric LaRocca. Um, the cover alone makes this one really, really worthwhile, so I, I can't wait to just kind of crack open and see what's behind that cover. Um, I, I feel like this is kind of an obvious choice, but I have to say My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. I mean, honestly, after reading his last novel, there's just, there's just no way a year can go by without, you know, running for the next one. And I'm super bummed that I haven't found a copy yet. So for those of you who are watching this and you have a arc to spare, please, please, please send it my way. I'm dying. I really want to read it. I really want to read it. Um, and then my fifth choice uh, is kind of a cheat because I actually have already, already read it, but I really, really want you to read it. It's called Survive the Night by Riley Sager, and it is awesome. It is just a book you cannot put down, so I would wholeheartedly recommend uh, Survive the Night. And then as far as my one of my favorite all-time summer reads, you know, when I think summer, I think of going to the circus, <laughs> and uh, I, this is crazy, I know, forgive me, but uh, it made me think of this book uh, called The Circus Fire by Stuart O'Nan. And if you have not picked up this book, oh my god. Um, it is a nonfiction book. Um, it is not true crime per se, but it focuses on a very specific event that happened in, I guess it was like 1944, 1945, and it recounts the actual tragedy of a, uh, the, the circus fire of 1944. Um, it is heartbreaking, it is terrifying, and Stuart Onan somehow places you, the reader, in this this circus tent as it is engulfed in flames and it is by you know hands down probably one of the more jaw-droppingly terrifying scary reads i think i've ever read but with heart so i i would wholeheartedly recommend it so yes that's uh those are my those are my picks for the summer of 2021. And after you've read all of those books, then you gotta pick up a copy of Whisper Down the Lane. Thanks very much, guys. Have a wonderful day and have a great summer.